Thank you. It is gratifying to receive a PhD and see years of persistent hard work coming to fruition. Simultaneously, I believe completing a PhD is just a starting point in the dynamic world of research. Uh, I think the deepest fulfillment lies in serving nature. Uh, since childhood, I have always cared about our environment and believed that planet Earth is our most precious asset. The indiscriminate human activities and over-exploitation of raw materials have caused long-standing challenges to our planet, including climate change and resource depletion, which I wanted to help solve to hand over a better planet to our future generations. Uh, I think my love for nature drove me into research and finding solutions around waste recycling and resource conservation. Uh, firstly, discover what your niche interest area is. It could be something you have always been passionate about. Uh, I think the most important strategy is extensive reading on the subject. Uh, check out resources such as research publications on that topic. Depending on your interest, you may narrow your reading to only a few areas that most spark your curiosity. Uh, engaging with academics and practitioners working in the area is also helpful. They can help you identify critical research gaps, refine your research topic and give a real world context to your research. Uh, often existing research projects are advertised by academics to see if any existing project aligns with your interests. This could help you save time early on and start your research earlier. Uh, finding a PhD research topic is part of the journey. Be open to new ideas, remain curious, challenge yourself and tap into all available resources. A PhD is an opportunity to pursue your passion. Uh, it is hard to single out one. Uh, I think the biggest challenge in the beginning was to strategically design my research to support our transition to a circular economy while addressing the practical requirements of the civil and geotechnical engineering industry. Uh, engaging with relevant researchers and industry professionals and receiving feedback helped me overcome this challenge. Uh, likewise, the biggest challenge I faced during my PhD was dealing with perfectionism. As a PhD is a marathon, not a sprint, focusing on doing your best rather than chasing perfectionism is helpful. Uh, maintaining a healthy work-life balance and taking care of your mental and physical health are very important. It is okay to be unproductive sometimes and learning to feel comfortable with change goes a long way. I still remember the age of my PhD advisor and mentor at UQ, Professor David Williams, which I found really helpful during my PhD that resist the temptation of doing what has always been done and expecting a different outcome. Uh, I believe breakthrough solutions originate from the cross-pollination of ideas, skills and capabilities. I am a proponent of cross-disciplinary and cross-institutional collaborations. Uh, in addition to drawing on the world-leading civil and geotechnical engineering research facilities available at the University of Queensland, I have collaborated with the researchers at well-reputed national and international organizations to optimize my research output. For example, uh, I have collaborated internationally with researchers at University College London, Imperial College London and the University of Nottingham in the UK. Uh, I believe building relationships based on similar research interests and communicating your research in an easy to understand language can help develop meaningful collaborations leading to transformative benefits. Uh, we certainly need to develop sustainable construction materials to help reduce our massive dependence on natural aggregates and decarbonize the construction industry. 
uh, it is clear that natural sand and gravel are being mined at a rate greater than their natural replenishment. Uh, for example, the global demand for natural sand and gravel has skyrocketed to almost 50 billion tons annually, averaging 18 kilogram per person per day. In fact, many countries today face an approaching risk of shortage of natural construction aggregates, highlighting the need to develop sustainable alternatives. Uh, on the other side, the disposal of ever-increasing waste class is another environmental challenge. My research aims to use crushed waste glass as a 100% replacement for traditional sands in geotechnical construction applications. This would potentially offer a double benefit by helping to dispose of massive volumes of waste glass and by reducing the skyrocketing demand for natural sand in construction. Simultaneously, this approach could offer several knock-on benefits including helping to reduce the landfill burden, reducing greenhouse gas emissions due to sand querying activities, and decreasing the need to mine beach sand, which contributes to coastal erosion, damage to aquatic species, and biodiversity loss. Uh, the current rate of glass recycling in Australia is around 45%. The remaining unrecycled glass either ends up in landfills or is stored in warehouses indefinitely due to its limited end uses. Uh, approximately 1 million tons of waste glass are stockpiled annually in Australia. Waste glass is non-biodegradable and its landfilling might not be an ideal disposal option as it, this occupies precious land space which might otherwise be utilized for high value applications. My research could help offer a circular solution by diverting waste glass from landfills and turning it into a feedstock or input for geotechnical construction applications. Uh, I think sustainability is more than a concept. It is a commitment, attitude and lifestyle to live daily. Uh, I believe the most important thing for us to embrace sustainability is to be responsible consumers and value the well-being of the planet and generations in our daily choices. Uh, some simple ways to help increase sustainability include reducing our individual carbon footprint, maximizing reliance on renewables, using recycled products and protecting our forests, wildlife and other ecosystems. Uh, clean technologies can be a part of the solution, but the long-term answer to sustainability lies in adopting circular thinking and biomimicry in our lifestyles. Uh, technically, my research aims to recycle crushed waste glass as a sustainable replacement for traditional sands in geotechnical construction applications. A few years from now, uh, you might find yourself sitting in a building or using infrastructure whose geotechnical construction involves using crushed waste glass as a sustainable replacement for traditional sands. Uh, I think every child has the potential to pursue a STEM career successfully. The fallacy that STEM is perhaps too boring or difficult needs to be busted. STEM is exciting fun-filled and full of opportunities. My advice to young people is don't be deterred by the challenge of a STEM education because this is where the excitement lies. Challenge yourself with a STEM career to discover your hidden talents and remember that it is completely fine to fail as long as you learn from your mistakes because every failure is an opportunity to come back stronger and ultimately makes the success even more joyful.